Andrew Huberman is wrong about a ton of things in health science. His main problem is he simply extrapolates from mechanisms that you find out about in a lab that may not even be reproducible because maybe some grad student messed up with some of the machines and some other lab didn't bother to replicate it just because it was published in scientific reports or nature. And then he extrapolates that and says, oh, look, based on this mechanism we discovered in a lab, and it's not based on a clinical trial at all. It's just based on this like theory, based on this mechanism. I'm going to make this recommendation to my tens or hundreds of thousands of people on the internet to do this particular uh, intervention that may have absolutely zero benefit and almost certainly has absolutely zero benefit and may even cause harm. And that's, that's kind of his shtick. And to illustrate that, we can talk about vitamin D. So here's a recent podcast where he's... Of course, he's, he's shilling it because he's uh, uh, talking about his affiliates and trying to make people think that they need to buy the products from his affiliates, which is going to make him money. So, of course, he's shilling it. But we're going to listen to this claim about the vitamin D, which he shills, which is it's preposterous. Let, let's listen to it. To try Athletic Greens, again, also called AG1, you can go to athleticgreens.com slash Huberman to claim a special offer. They're giving away five free travel packs and a year supply of vitamin D3 K2. Vitamin D3 is extremely important for many biological functions. We are told that we can get enough D3 from sun exposure, but many of us who are getting sun exposure and many of us who are not getting enough sun exposure still don't have ample levels of vitamin D3. So supplementing with vitamin D3 is necessary for many, many people. And K2 is... A so he says that supplementing with vitamin D3 is necessary for many, many people. <clears throat> Let's address that. Here's something published by the, the U.S. Preventive Task Force, September of last year. Here's what they said. The evidence suggests that treatment with vitamin D has no effect on mortality, fractures, depression, or the incidence of diabetes, cardiovascular disease, cancer, or adverse events. And we have trials with tens of thousands of people we have trials with tens of thousands of people that have shown very clearly that there's there's no signal whatsoever for benefit from supplementation of vitamin d above above the the normal thresholds that you might see in the doctor's office so if you want to know about whether or not you should supplement with vitamin d talk to your doctor whose guidelines are based on the most up-to-date evidence this stuff on the huberman podcast his shilling of vitamin d based on it's necessary for many things in the body blah 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 blah, blah. people don't get enough it's total bullshit talk to your doctor whenever you want medical recommendations